Man, last night was fun. It was pretty cool to see Daniel sing. Today is gonna be, for y'all, this video that you see is gonna be the last video of my daily vlogging. Or is it? I don't know. I've been kind of, been kind of liking it. So, after this video, you'll see this video on Saturday. So, I mean, Sunday, I'll go live. So, make sure you join me. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, it's definitely Sunday evening. Let's say five. Five o'clock Eastern time. So make sure you tune in. Talk to me. I want to hear what your thoughts are and stuff. And I'm going to share mine. So now, gym down. I was extremely lucky today at work. I was able to be done and back at the warehouse at like 12. It's like one o'clock now. It's great. I stopped by Lowe's, picked up a couple of things that I need for a project that we started. And we thought we finished. We're gonna keep working on this, this darn turkey feeder. Also, a cool thing, my dad has been off uh, for the past couple days. Well, he came down and got my burner that I use for canning. So, I haven't been able to can the last couple days. I was going to can today, Friday, but he has the burner because he is actually cooking up some of the meat that thawed out. So what did I get? I got this long eye bolt. Long eye bolt and this conduit, metal conduit. So my thought process is I'm going to put this, this, boom, and can I squeeze it in, boom, like that. See there? That way it's up high. They shouldn't be able to get up here because of this. I do need to tighten this up actually. And then I'll just hang a, a wire rope and then hang it. So then that way it'll just be hanging there. And so like if they do get up there, just kind of swing around. I mean, it's not gonna tip over. Should be fine. Should be fine. As easy as that was listen y'all are gonna have to start stopping me okay how am I gonna fill it up I gotta take the bolt off the bottom and then put I'll show you this is it may work this is what I'm saying bolt oh cool slides right out right Slides right out. Oh, we just put a little food in there, right? Just food in there. We already already lost some through the hole. What am I, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do like that. You're supposed to put this in and search for the. Okay, it was easier than I thought. It was easier than I thought. Just screw the bolt on. Okay. 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 Calm down, Jesse. Calm down. Before you get all upset, stuff. Try things out. Right? Thank you. I knew y'all. I, I knew y'all had my back. I knew that y'all were just like you're waiting for me to figure it out on my own. And I did. Thank you. You know, that's the best way to learn. It's really just trial and error. I know that if I really went too far, y'all would have stopped me. I knew it. I knew it. So. Somebody's calling me. Let's see if it's anybody cool. No, potential scam. Spam. Whatever you call it. Scam or spam. Yay!
I know I'm gonna have to untie it and tie it. That's kind of why I did that little knot right there. Um, I'll do that till I get a carabiner and tie a carabiner on there and be able to click it. But also, kind of like the fact that I can adjust the height with the knot. Um, but we'll see how that holds up with with them because they tend to find ways. So am I worried about them trying to get up and roost on that, that bar that I put up there? Not really, because like I said, it's already at the height of the, the cage itself. So if they can get up there, they can already get out, even if that bar wasn't there. So I don't think that's gonna be too big of an issue. They have a, a, a roost in there that I have. I'm, I probably need to put a little bit longer one on there because they're getting bigger. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, they're, they're pretty simple. I'm actually quite surprised that they're still it's still alive. A lot of people talk about how hard turkeys are, but and I'm, I'm fingers crossed that nothing happens to them between now and butcher or whether they get figure out what what they are, you know, boy and girl. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with with what I did. Dad just finished cooking the chicken bock, the Goat Hill chicken bock. All right, here it is. Here it is. Chicken bog is just like rice, sausage, tomatoes, cooked chicken. So good. So good. Okay, so I'm about to package up the chicken bog. And you know, anytime I get to package something, I'm using my Avid Armor chamber sealer. You know, this thing is awesome. I'm always going to show it. If you haven't seen it, you're going to see it now. But Avid Armor also sent me their new four millimeter bags. The best thing about those is the fact that I get to seal up things that are a little bit warmer. So I don't have to wait so long for it to cool. Also, it's going to protect even better against freezer burn and things like that, especially when you're doing like soups or um, bogs, stuff like that. So I'm excited. Code. There's always a code. There's always a link. There's a link in the description. Check it out. But this thing is awesome. I need one of those bag holders. <laughs> what do you mean by bag holders? Press that one. What you think? I'm not upset about nine pounds of delicious goodness. And just like that, end of the day. I'm gonna clean up, just put all the stuff in, in the, the re-frozen freezer. Um, and yeah, so thanks for hanging out.